Notts County talk, time for the player ratings after a very impressive 3 0 win at home to Wealdstone. Now, it was all about how we reacted from the Chesterfield game, and let's be honest, that's as close to a perfect performance as we've had all season. We said we had to dominate for more than 30 minutes, which has been our maximum, I would say, um, against Barnet, maybe a bit longer against Altrincham, but we, we had to dominate, and I felt we dominated today for. 80 minutes. Wilson had their three, four minute spells, but we dominated for 80 minutes in that. Um, no disrespect, that's a game we, we should be dominating. Look at the quality we've got on the pitch. We've got Reeves, we've got Enzio, we've got Wooten. Fantastic quality. And um, really, that's the most positive I've felt after a game this season. Uh, I know we got the, the big result against Chesterfield and the late one against Sutton. Um, but just that performance felt complete and that felt like a performance of a team that wants to be right up there at the top of the table. So really positive player ratings coming into to this one today. So I'll start in goal. Um, Sam Slocum, first clean sheet in four games. Um, I thought he was he was okay. Wasn't really troubled. Uh, he made a good save in the first half when they managed to get through down the side. Um, he did flap at a cross sort of late on in the game. Um I don't. It actually went for a corner. I don't think it was a corner, but he flat with that. I think he collided with a player. So I'm going to go seven and a half. It's a clean sheet. Um, it's always reliable. Just a, a couple of errors, but at the end of the day, a clean sheet is a clean sheet. Um, and you'll see by the ratings of the defence why I think he got that clean sheet because they were incredible in front of him. So we'll start with Richard Brindley. Attacking wise, fantastic. Didn't have to see too much of him defensively. Um, you always know what you're going to get with him and Kelly Evans. So I'm going to give Brindley a 7 for this one. I think there could have been a bit more end product going forward, but he always adds a threat. You know, you bring a fullback forward and all of a sudden um, that their, their defence have got two players out wide to deal with. So I thought he was pretty good in that respect. Going across to Kelly Evans, uh, managed himself very well after getting that yellow card in the opening half hour. Um, it's obviously risky as a fullback playing against that, but he didn't have too much to defend against. So I'm going to give him a 7 as well. Um, just adds that bit of aggression that I think spurs a few players on in the team. It's always nice to have one or two of those aggressive players. Like you've got your Doyle, you've got your O'Briens, you've got your, your Kelly Evans. Just balances the team out really nicely. So giving him a 7. Moving on to the centre-back pairing now. Hold my hands up. Fair play. When I saw Tony in that team sheet, I thought, not sure about this. Few few mistakes in the last game. Few mistakes in the game before. Hold my hands up. Fantastic performance from Ben Turner. Um Looked so assured. I mean, he, he they, they could not get past him. I'm going to go for an eight and a half for Ben Turner, and I never thought I'd have been saying that at kickoff, but at, for a performance, that was faultless, nearly. Um, the only reason he didn't get more is he didn't really have too much to deal with, uh, but won most headers, just very composed on the ball. The balls he was playing through over the top, they were effective. They were some very decent passes that we'll be expecting of Reeves and, and Doyle. So... That's a very, very good performance from him. Um, and his partner, we'll go with Rawlinson. I'm going to give him an eight. Not quite the passing range, not the dominance in the air. Maybe it just fell in the areas where Tony needed to deal with it today. But those two, I mean, that is a comfortable performance. If your two centre-backs are playing well, you're very, very comfortable. Um, Lafayette for them, barely had a sniff. He won a couple, he barely had a sniff. And as I mentioned in the match preview, he's a player that's been around National League, knows all the tricks, knows how to use his body well faultless on those two really today so yeah big th big big thumbs up for the goalkeeper in defence for me uh, now we'll move on to the central midfield too Doyle and Reeves again players you know what you're going to get with, with them yes we've had a break um, of a while but they just seem to be engines they can just play can't they they, they can just keep going Reeves um, I was talking to George during the game Just he's just everywhere we just could not believe where he was popping up in these situations now, there was a few times, and I mentioned this before, that that does cause a bit of a problem with the sort of uh, makeup of the midfield. It sometimes leaves Dora very exposed on his own. That's when we can be broken against, which we saw against the likes of Maidenhead. But, you know, that energy, again, it's like Kelly Evans' aggression. It really spurs people on. His passing range is fantastic. He's, he's got these nice little turns. Um, we noted that when we signed him. We put a little video up um, on our on our Twitter the day we signed him of his highlights and his highlights he was doing turns in, in tight spaces and those turns they're what what gets the extra yard one a, 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 a Croy turn in the middle can open up space for so many different players on the pitch so 
It's a really good performance again from Rees. Um, and I'm going to go for an 8 for him because him and Doyle, they never lost that midfield battle today. They they completely locked it down. They were just fantastic. So I've already just mentioned 8 for Reeves. I'm going to go 8 for Doyle as well. Uh, a lot of the play came through him. The reason they don't get a bit higher is because they're a little bit untidy in some situations. But, you know, at the end of the day, if, if we're dominating a game that much, they have the license to be a, a little bit shaky with a few things. Maybe they were trying uh, passes that were a little bit too ambitious but on the whole those two absolutely fantastic again um, becoming a real strong cent central midfield pair and I know there was a few calls for Dor to be dropped a couple of games ago but after today I'll definitely keep him in um, so then I'll go to Enzio now he's been growing in confidence um, over the past few games and today he was fantastic almost back to his old self all it was uh, was missing was like a 30 yard rocket but he was taking players on driving at them you know he's back when he's got the step overs and the little Cruyff turns. So really happy for Enzio, really impressed with his performance. I'm actually going to go for an eight and a half. He got his goal, took it well. Um, often when you've got a couple of seconds to, to pick your spot, it can be a bit more difficult, especially as their goalkeeper. The goalkeeper, if I was doing this, even those conceded three, would be getting a nine and a half because that double save was unbelievable. But yeah, fair play to their keeper. Um, but yeah, Enzio, eight and a half. Just a really, really good performance from him. I hope he can kick on. He's got that confidence. Um, he was one of the main men today and he was given licence. So I'm, I'm really impressed by him. Go with Rodriguez next. So I'm going to give him an eight. Would have got a bit higher, but there was an opportunity where he could have laid it off to Wotton quite early on in the second half. Um, it's just not... He's so close. He's so close to having that format sharpness. I think he's just almost there. Um, everything came through him, didn't it? So, uh, there was like a 20 minute spell where he was putting the most ridiculous through balls through to Sam and then to Wotton and Enzio. And he's absolutely cut above some of the players in this league. I mean, people couldn't get near him. You hear when some um, professionals are talking about Premier League players they've played against and they have like a, a presence. I know someone, one of the Prem players mentioned it about Pogba. And they asked about him and he said, I could just, you just can't get near him. I feel like that's that's what Rodriguez is for us. I, some players, just they make themselves 10 yards of space. And by the time you're giving them five yards of space, they've, they've picked that killer pass. So, yeah, really good. Just get that sharpness. So it's an eight for Rodriguez. Going on to Sam. Now, my man of the match with a nine. What donkey? No donkey there. Um, I've always been a big fan. George has always been a, a big fan. Might have uh, slated him once, but I've never slated him. Um, I think he's nutmeg the player and put it in. The reason he doesn't get higher is because there was a chance where he was a bit greedy and he could have passed it to Wotton for a tap-in. But, you know, he has held that ball up absolutely magnificently all game. Took his goal really well. Work rate fantastic. His confidence has just gone like this. Every game, it's just rising and rising. So, if he continues like this... We've got a real player on our hands. He's obviously been picked up from playing in the Bulgarian League for a reason. There's a reason he's been brought to knots and hardly kept um, alluding to it in, in conference, press conferences when he might not have played well. He's the reason um, he's the reason he's been picked up. So yeah, fantastic performance from Sam and him and Warren up front are a handful. Brings me on to Wotton. Now, I've just written my scores down and I had actually given him a 7.5. I think he, he was a bit unlucky today. His work rate was... Fantastic as ever, and a lot of off the ball work goes unnoticed. And just as I've written it down, he gets a very unselfish assist for Knowles, so I'm upping it to an eight. So it is an eight for um, it's an eight for Wotton. Yeah, really, really good. Um, I, I give him these scores every week. Just absolutely fantastic. So I, I just think if we average out of this season, he's never going to drop really below a, a seven. So yeah, great performance. The two subs, O'Brien, um, not seen much. Lovely touch to make himself some space in the box that nearly resulted in a goal for Wotton. Really, really good touch. And I'm going to give him a seven for that. And Jimmy Knowles, I've written uh, NA on my sheet because how can I rate a player that's played for about two minutes? But then he goes and gets himself a goal. So Knowles with an eight for me. Really, really good from Jimmy Knowles. And um, yeah... Just great to see players coming on and, and it seems to now be falling for us. I mean, players would have come on in the past and made no impact. He's come on in the Sutton game and made an impact and he's come on in this game and made, made an impact. So, yeah, a massive team performance. I don't think I'd give a low in the seven. 
Um, everyone's played really, really well. I feel like, I don't want to jinx it, I feel like this is the push. I feel like this is what we needed. So, massive performance, and we move on to our next game in high spirits. Enjoy your weekend.